Kachong TV no Chitane Tao Shai Landa Wisconsin Lukong Hao Chao Jimmy Yu Kong Wamo Keshikong Te Landa Papa Chichi La Lua Minyu Tia Jane Yu Nyu Mi Hao Wisconsin Tia Moketsen Ka Hain Landa Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery Emmy Roth Great Lakes Cheese Company Great Lakes Wapsi Valley Creamery and contributions from Specialty Cheese Company and Westby Cooperative Creamery. Watch out. All dairy products start on their journey to your dinner table on a farm in the form of milk. Every day across the United States, more than 600 million pounds of milk are transported to the nation's dairy manufacturers. Each processing facility is different, with plant layout and equipment determined by the end product. Still, the flow of milk through plants is fairly standard, determined by food safety regulations and industry best practices. In this video, we'll show you each step of the process and highlight the network of dedicated personnel working to bring you bottled milk, cheese, yogurt, and other delicious, nutritious dairy products. We buy milk from 170 different farms that are scattered across Northeast Iowa. Ryan Nelson, Yalu Chai Wami Nyu Ka, Dia Thip Lau Lai. Wa Te Cha Hau Wapsi Valley Creamery, Ya Yu Peng Hau Lawa. This is the first stop for the milk as it comes into the plant before we can turn it into cheese. Yami Nyu Pi Tua Cha Cha Tau, Pe Teng Shen Cha, Hau Tsua Ta Ki. Once we get approved for all the quality checks, then we uh, start pumping the milk into the silos, and then we wash the trucks, and seal them up and send them back out to pick up more milk. This is our milk pasteurizer room where we're cooking the milk up to 162 degrees and then cooling it back down to 90 degrees to make cheese out of it. And we're cooking the milk to kill any bad bacteria that could be come in the milk from the farm. ว่าสายลอกเขาแล้วยอดของล่าลัวว่าเตี้ยเลยเจ้าก่อนเตี้ยว่าเกิดสิ่งรวมจริงกับโปรตีนซ่าเกี่ยนยาเซ็งเทีย
This is our cheese packaging room. Pedro's taking the finished product off the line right now. We have to keep it under 45 degrees to keep bad bacteria from growing. We don't want the food to warm up and spoil, so we have to keep it cold. Lots of other plating and incubating and different pieces of equipment up here. The truck drivers behind me that are hauling the cheese to uh, the two coasts to the bigger cities so that people can eat that eat that cheese and lots of other um, cut and wrap facilities that are going to cut that cheese up and uh, put it into little packages for people at the grocery store. So-called cut and wrap facilities are also dairy processing plants. They are responsible for converting bulk products into packaged portions, ideal for food service or for direct-to-consumer sales. That's the next stop on our journey through the dairy supply chain. The cheese that I deal with every day, I'm, I'm, I'm able to see it at its last stage before it gets out and shipped to nationwide. The Nyondo Great Lakes Wisconsin, I work a lot with the warehouse workers, the forklift operators, the pickers. It's like a giant puzzle, and it's just fun to work through. And you know, if it doesn't fit there, you got to move it out and create something new. I love the challenge. I love using my mind every day. It's not monotonous. You're doing something that's making an impact. So it's going to feed a family. You know? Affinage is the aging of cheese. So after cheese is made, it's not completed until it's done aging. The aging is where the proteins and fats are broken down, the flavors are developed, the body is developed, and um, the end cheese is really made. C A. It tells you what's in the product, what the composition is. If it's cheese, it would list the pH levels, uh, moisture. B O L Lushi Dan the Gatu Gendi Kong. Bill of Laden is basically it's a form of it's a documentation of what that truck carries. That's just a general default. Every truck carrier has to have that. Um, so if you get stopped by by any kind of you know law enforcement officer or anything like that, that's basically your your passport to show that you're okay. S O S Gendi Kong. It's a rigid type tray that has no paper interleaf in it, uh, means slice on slice, um, easy for the food industry to use. They can peel the film back on it, pull their slices out, and then they can push the film back down. It's heating milk up to a certain temperature to kill all the bacteria out of it, so it's safe to drink. H-A-A-C-P Food processors get certified in HACCP so they can ensure the safety of their products. 
You might also hear the acronym PCQI in the food safety world. That's Preventive Controls Qualified Individuals, and people who are PCQI trained may lead food safety teams. Wisconsin, Lukong Hao, Lu Chao, Jimmy New Car, Watch Out Drow, Gay, Toshai, Watch Out Wa, Kumu Drow, Pejan and Gonte, Kachong TV Tier, Papa, Jiji Chia, Ta, Gay Ola Lua, Mi New, Tier, Johnny Olia, what day, New Mi Hao, Wisconsin, Johnny Moke, Sanka, Wa, Molusia Da, Ellsworth Cooperative Creamery, Emmy Roth, Great Lakes Cheese Company, Wapsi Valley Creamery, and contributions from Specialty Cheese Company and Westby Cooperative Creamery. Watch out.